Books and prints currently fill Sanford's art gallery. The work of nationally recognized artist Mary Ann Sampson is on display through February 23rd. Much of Sampson's work is inspired by personal experiences, and she hopes the exhibit will help people to visually connect the past with the present. We all have experiences throughout life that, um, that are still a part of us. They're somewhere in our mind. And I think being a visual artist, I'm looking for that experience. I'm drawing on that all of the time, and, and I bring it to the present. What's available to us today is a different way of imaging techniques that we used 500 years ago. The, the calligraphy aspect of some of the books behind me goes back to when man started having an alphabet and making images. So there's this wonderful connection with the past and the present, and it's there if you're willing to take it on the journey with you. The bookmaking art form continues to increase in popularity across the country, and so Sampson offered a workshop this weekend to introduce this very intricate process to students. We are learning how to uh, make and bind books with special paper and special binding cloth and we're going through all the ins and outs of actually how a book is made and how we can make books as artists. The process is a real important aspect. It, there's no quick way to the end. I think uh, there's no quick satisfaction. Uh, it takes step, 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 step and that's fascinating to me. I learn something every time. For my senior um, project, I'm actually doing a bookstore slash publisher. So I'm going to design two books for my senior project. And I love books, love everything about books. And I think I'm going to go to grad school for book arts. So that's why I came to this, to uh, get a little experience and see what it's all about. For three years, I've had an interest in making books ever since I took a uh, typography class. And it's just another form of art that I really like. I love working with my hands. This is a great, you know, get down and dirty uh, with the glue and the uh, cutting and the, and the mat boards and everything. Um, and you can, you can make some really, some really great pieces and really interesting uh, one-of-a-kind original, original art pieces. And it's always a great conversation starter. You lay it on the, you know, coffee table at home and people are always like, oh, oh, where'd you get that book? And it's like, well, I made it. And so It's just something personal about opening a, a book and flipping through the pages and just feeling the texture and just going on a journey through the written words in the books. It just takes you to a different place. It's always great to broaden your artistic talents with uh, graphic design because you can use every single technique within graphic design. Uh, so, you know, your paintings and, and your drawings and everything like that, and especially bookmaking, it's a great way to... Uh, I may include this in a portfolio piece, I may even make my own portfolio uh, for graphic design, so it's always great to broaden your artistic, your artistic talents. A reception and artist talk with Sampson will be held in the gallery the evening of Tuesday, February 22nd from 5 to 7. I'm Nathan Troost, Sanford University.